So this video is about my idle up, how I have it set up on this switch and how I use it, why I use it in conjunction with air mode. So basically the idle up is like a 1.5 or 2%, 2.5% uh, throttle boost. So when I'm cruising around, I 90% of the time I have the idle up and the air mode on so that, you know, it's just like a regular um quad and i have noticed some benefits like instead of having 5.5 percent air mode if you have like three percent air mode and 2.5 percent idle up i've noticed some benefits it helps with that little wobble that sometimes you get but maybe it does maybe it doesn't i don't know but the main reason for doing it is for like if you want to slide down a slide or something and you have air mode too high you'll get those little bounces you know when you come in for landing and you get those little bounces but originally it was for sliding for um like if you want to perch on something or dock on something you turn the turn your idle up off while you're flying and then you can like land on a light pole easier land somewhere crazy um or dock you know under something without having so much active eye term and and having the pit controller be so active so that is why i have it and let me just show you how to do it it's pretty easy so you want to it's similar to dynamic idle which i also have on here but that's in the tuning video so three percent is a good value for the air mode for this or 3.3 i don't know what i have mine it's going to be a little bit different for everybody but generally it should be the same if it's like struggling to spin that's no good arming the quad no idle up <laughs> And now I'm gonna arm the quad and then shortly after I'll do the idle up. I'm flicking it back and forth. I'm sure you can hear it. So you wanna have it actually spinning relatively fast. The idea is to be able to fly with idle up off as well. So you don't wanna have the motor spinning so low that it creates issues. So about like that and then with the idle up. And that's it. Then we put this aside and in your controller, you go to menu and then you wanna get to the inputs page. Once you're in the inputs page, you go to throttle. So as you can see, I have an extra throttle on a switch basically. So I'm not gonna get into the details of how to do this, but I'll show you how I did it. So then you add that little throttle boost, input throttle, source throttle, but the switch. I don't know what that means because one of them apparently is the actual value. One of them is the stick. I don't know. So that's why I'm telling you to look it up online. But you just put a, a differential of whatever, four. So you see this is my throttle here. Pay attention to that, okay? When I flip this switch, the throttle will bump up by a value of four, whatever that is. But it translates to like 1.5%. So everyone's is gonna be different. So if you wanted to do it, just kind of figure it out. It all depends where your endpoints are and stuff like that on, on the beta flight. So, and I have my switch here, SA1, you can use whatever you want. That's another reason why I don't like the, the jumper radio and the QX7 is my favorite because of, I have to flip this switch a lot while flying. It's pretty easy on the X9D, but, and that's it. So once you have that in there and you be flipping this switch, boy. But once you have that in there and you flip the switch, you see the input should change and that's it i mean that's idle up that's how i use it um in the past people used to use it in in uh like replacement for air mode because i guess air mode wasn't out yet but look there's the values again i think here no no yeah 121 1001 1021 1001 anyway that's it Hope that helps. Um, I, maybe one day I'll go into more detail, but I just trying to bang these videos out, the ones that you guys are requesting. So there it is. And stay tuned. Thanks for being a patron, guys. The next giveaway is coming very shortly. The, I know the five inch giveaway, I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm just kind of falling behind. So stay tuned. Peace.